Welcome to the vlog. My name is Krevi and I'm happy to have you back. Of course, I start filming when I'm about to leave, so I will try to be quick so I don't actually be late. And I'm filming this when I'm still in Bulgaria and I have actually filmed quite a bit already and then I realized that I don't really have an intro, so hello. I am happy that you're back. I hope you're doing well. I will now send you back in time and we will see each other in a bit.
it's the the future crime but also the past crime because you're seeing this probably a week later i went to the seaside yesterday so it was a lot of fun i really enjoyed it and now i'm kind of rushing through this intro not because i don't want to talk to you but because i already promised my mom that i will be there in 10 minutes and i'm not even fully dressed yet And I am back. I'm actually jumping in for a little bit to give you a quick update. I haven't really spoken to you in forever and I have so many things to say. So yes, I am back. So I told you that there is this farmer's market, that little bazaar thing. I think it happens every month, but it might happen every week. I haven't been in Bulgaria for a long time before it was every month, but a lot of things have changed and I haven't asked my mom. So let's say it happens every month. Farmers just sell their own stuff. So the things you're gonna buy are pretty much gonna be local and regional so it's gonna be supporting the industry in the region we found this honey cream it says cream honey with raspberries so i thought that's kind of exciting so i haven't tried it this is one of the things that we got and it is regional so that's pretty cool the next thing that we got just honey with chocolate powder i guess i haven't tried it still it looks pretty good we'll see how that goes and i got myself a little lip balm i really enjoy these lip balms they are quite tiny for the box unfortunately but yeah the lip balm looks like this a rose lip balm but it's super nice i have used probably two packs of these already and i actually keep the little plastic packages because i use them for other things sometimes when i travel i just squeeze something in it and i just take it with me on another note i've been in Bulgaria for quite a bit. It's been two weeks now and I have realized that living with a cat comes with its difficulties because there is cat hair absolutely everywhere. If you look at this sweater, I'm not sure if it's picking up because of the camera, but I'm full of cat hair. It's something that I have forgotten how to live with because every dish that I eat has cat hair in it and I feel like they just fly because sometimes they just stick to my face even if I haven't touched my face so it's one of these things that I have completely forgotten about my cat has been super sweet he is turning 14 years old next year in May he is old but he still has energy in him even though he doesn't like to be pet he actually started letting you pet him just a couple years back so it's been probably 10 years of not being able to pet him so now I'm really happy that he allows me to even get close to him other than that, nothing much has been going on. I've been trying to see my friends, but everybody is with a different schedule and it's just impossible for us to find the time. And plus, I will be traveling for New Year, so that kind of messes up all the plans because people are working currently, but I'm free. And then when I'm traveling, then they're not working, so they're free. So it gets a little bit complicated, but... It is what it is. It happens every year when I come back. Something exciting that I don't know if I should talk to you about, but let's talk about it and we will see how that goes. I am thinking about going on a trip to Japan or that is the plan. If I'm able to graduate, that is the plan for me to go. So I got here some printed out things of uh, tourist agencies 
that are doing Japan trips and both of the ones that I got, I'm not gonna turn them because it has some actual information about the tourist agency. Both of them have Japan and South Korea. It would be nice if I can find something for next year. As you can see, everything is printed. It's multiple pages, so I will have a sit down at some point, hopefully in the next few days and see prices and everything. I will keep you updated if anything comes out of it. On another note, I have a lot of things for university that I need to figure out. I was able to actually plan everything regarding all of my lectures and I was able to divide them into what to do for each professor because for one of my lecturers we have five professors and each professor has its own little set of tasks that you need to take care of and set of slides and homeworks and whatever so it was a good opportunity for me to just sit down and write everything down so I don't miss anything I have written everything down and that's great and now I just have to actually do the stuff so so this is my little update for now I will sit down and read through a lot of these things. This is exciting. I will talk to you in a bit. Happy Friday. I am back. I actually had planned to film a little bit more today and then finish off the vlog because I am traveling tomorrow so I would like to start a new vlog tomorrow but change of plans. I am home today so there is not much I can film. I really hope that you enjoyed this vlog. I had a lot of fun. It's been super nice to be back in Bulgaria and it's crazy that the year is ending but if I don't see you by the end of the year then I hope you're having a nice beginning of 2024. I hope to see you on my channel again because I have a lot of things planned but we'll see how everything goes. It's been kind of a tricky year for I guess last Last year was tricky, this year is tricky, every year is tricky, but I'm kind of feeling relieved that it's almost done and then I don't need to worry about it anymore. And that will be all from my side. I will see you in the next vlog. If it's not posted by the end of 2023, then I will see you in the next year. And of course, I will be posting on my Instagram, so I will see you there.